the day that we had the breach in 2014, um, the, the crisis team came together, you know, in moments, and there was not a, uh, a lot of debate over who was going to do what. We had already pretty well-defined roles. People asked me, did you prepare um, for this type of a scenario and the severity of it um, in your planning or not? And my reaction to that is we prepared as best we could, but we never thought that the black swan would show up. And, and it did. Um, and so what I mean by that is that on day one, we went dark worldwide. And when you, when you take your, when we did it, you know, our adversary didn't do it, although <laughs> we would have had um, all of our data destroyed had we not unplugged worldwide, but that decision is a huge one. And in your planning, I have to, you know, if I don't say anything else to you today, when you sit down and, and begin to plan and prepare for uh, hopefully worst case scenarios, consider whether or not you could unplug worldwide, what the impact of that would be, who would make that decision. And by the way, if it's Thanksgiving week, who's available to make that decision? Because uh, it was for us. And, um, and then how do you manage through that? And then, so now you've, you've done that, you've, you've stopped the bleeding for a moment, um, but now you've got the incident to manage, but you also have the business to run. People forget that, right? Oh, it's let's everybody runs into the room and we want to manage the crisis. Okay, yeah, we've got a team to do that, but we the rest of the company needs to focus on running the business in a totally different way. Imagine running your business without the internet, without being connected today. How do you do that? How do you make payroll? 50 countries, 150 offices, plus thousands of production people all over the world that we had to account for. And, and um, anyway, I, I'm sorry, uh, I can run off all day on this stuff, but um, that's, that's some of it. 